My name is Jameson Stevens. I am class of 2022. I'm a BM composition major at the School of Music. I'm Timothy Cunningham. I am also a BM composition major, class of 2022. Right after the end of the last year's Feast of Lights, I came to Timothy with the idea and just, it was sort of just, you know, let's see if we can do this. Let's just see if we can even write it. It was, we had no prospect of it actually being on the program for next year's feast, let alone being the masterwork, the centerpiece for the Feast of Lights. We each had sketches of our movements, and so we took it to Dr. Andrews, and we said, we know it sounds crazy, but we have this idea for a piece for the Feast of Lights. And she was like, okay, here's all the limitations, like it has to be about 10 minutes long, here's the orchestration, all the instruments that we want you to use. Um, and then she was like, like, I want it by this date. And we were both just <laughs> in shock. This is the biggest thing we've ever written, ever. So it was a lot of new things that we hadn't really worked with before. We'd never worked with a full orchestra or a full choir or anything to that extent. So it was quite a big deal. And that sort of back and forth between the happy and the sad continues in the main melody, which is this fun little theme that gets stuck in your head, it goes. I suggested these two texts, they come together, they're the Apolitikion and Contakion for the Nativity of Christ. I thought it would be cool if we put those together and we each wrote our own movement using one of the texts. Well, his is the more meditative, more reflective movement. It kind of, it grows into this celebratory sort of exclamation of hope and joy for just the season and the event of feast. The first time that we started hearing it sung was last week um, and it was in Chapel Singers and it was an incredible experience like I got goosebumps it was so cool because we've only ever heard it on our computers um, with the really bad MIDI playback so it's just electronic voices and it, it doesn't sound real. Like we know what we want it to sound like and actually hearing that, it, it's just an unforgettable experience. The Feast of Lights, it's such a great experience for the school, for the students, for the community. It brings together all these people around a common theme. It is so inspiring and rich and emotional and so deeply wrought in like the human soul that really brings the whole community together. And I think that's what brings the Feast of, makes the Feast of Light so important. I've never heard of or been to any event like the Feast of Lights before. It's just an emotional experience. You feel so connected to everyone the audience, the other performers, through the music. And there's just this sense of hope and joy that you don't really see anywhere else. 